Welcome back inside live now from Fox. We want to go out to Georgia next as we continue to follow the latest developments here of a person who has been arrested now in the death of a 22 year old nursing student that suspect charged in connection with that 22 year old has been confirmed as an illegal immigrant who's originally from Venezuela. Fox News Digital learning this as of recently. 26 year old Jose Antonio Ibarra is the suspect who is charged in the murder of nursing student Lincoln Riley on the University of Georgia campus. He's a Venezuelan national who crossed illegally into El Paso Texas in September of 2022 and was released into the U.S. via parole. Three ICE and DH sources told Fox News ICE currently does not have comment on the situation. Let's bring you what we know so far about this investigation with Fox 5 Atlanta's Kim Luffler. Jose Antonio Ibarra faces several charges, including malice murder and the death of 22-year-old Augusta University nursing student Lincoln Riley. Fox News has confirmed he was in the country illegally. We've also learned his brother was arrested for having a fake green card, which he used for a brief job at a UGA dining hall. This court is not authorized under Georgia law to set bond. Of these charges. On Saturday, a judge denied bond for 26-year-old Jose Antonio Ibarra. He was arrested and booked into the athens Clark County Jail Friday night after his arrest and the death of 22-year-old Augusta University nursing student Lincoln Riley. The evidence suggests that this was a solo act. Um, uh, we, we took three or four people in custody. However, we're only going to arrest one in this yeah. case. Police found Riley's body near Lake Herrick Thursday after a friend called them concerned when she didn't return home from a run. Police say she died from blunt force trauma. Fox News confirmed Debarra was in the country illegally, crossing into El Paso from Venezuela in September of 2022 and was released into the country via parole. He did not know her at all. Um, I think this was a crime of opportunity uh, where he saw an individual um, and uh, bad things happen. Abara's brother, 29-year-old Diego Abara, was also arrested Friday for having a fake green card after athens Clark County police stopped him for matching the murder suspect's description. He's had several arrests since September of last year. UGA officials say Diego used that fake green card to get a job as a dishwasher at Bolton Dining Hall on UGA's campus on February 6. Officials say he failed to submit further documents to keep the job and was fired. They added he was never paid. Governor Brian Kemp sent a letter to President Joe Biden Saturday demanding answers, saying, quote, the American people deserve to know who is illegally entering our country due to your administration's failures and what risks and challenges every state must face. Georgia Speaker of the House John Burns also released a statement Saturday saying, quote, House leadership will be pressing for answers over the coming days as to why exactly the suspect and his brother continue to roam freely in the Athens area. Area. Democratic State Senator Jason Estevez stressed this is a time to mourn. He took to X saying, quote, Lake and Riley's family deserves a space to grieve without being used for cheap political points. UJ officials did stress there is no longer a continuing threat to the community following news of this arrest. We also know Riley's sorority will be holding a vigil at 3 p.m. on Monday at Tate Plaza in her honor. In Athens, Kim Luffler, Fox 5 News. Well, you saw some of the reaction pouring in there out of Georgia, but we're also seeing more lawmaker reaction on a national scale. This is California Congressman Daryl Issa saying to President Biden, do you plan to address the illegal immigrant who walks through your open borders, was released into our country and is suspected of murdering a Georgia college student? And you also saw in that report, too, that the governor of Georgia, uh, had put out a statement, a letter to Je President Joe Biden saying Lake and Riley's tragic death has struck the hearts of Georgians everywhere and has sparked national outrage. Joe Biden's failed policies have turned every state into a border state, and I'm demanding information from him so we can protect our people when the federal government won't. And you can see in this full statement here, just part of that letter, and I'll read out just a little brief portion of this from the top saying, 
Dear Mr. President, as I have stated many times in the past, your actions and those of your administration have resulted in every state in the country experiencing the disastrous impacts of an unsecured U.S. southern border. More than 9 million illegal immigrants have crossed the border since you took office with an additional unknown number of migrants who were not detained and processed, while at least 58 people on the terror watch list have been encountered between ports of entry this fiscal year alone. Moreover, nearly 2,000 pounds of fentanyl and 5,000 pounds of meth were seized at the border in just the month of January. In addition to the serious national security implications of the crisis, the increased burden on state and local resources is not only unsustainable, it also presents a clear and present danger to our citizens and communities. And then after this, he does get into what happened to 22-year-old Blake and Riley, saying, while the dangers of this crisis have never been theoretical, this week our state witnessed a devastating tragedy. Blake and Riley, a 22-year-old nursing student at Augusta University and beloved member of the University of Georgia community was found dead near UGA's East Campus in Tremero Fields on Thursday. After her death had been ruled a homicide, state and local law enforcement coordinated on identifying, locating, and arresting the suspected murderer. This coordinated effort resulted in the arrest of Jose Antonio Ibarra, a Venezuelan national, on multiple charges, including malice murder. It has since been revealed by the United States Department of Justice that the investigation into Lake and Riley's murder also resulted in the arrest of his older brother, Diego Ibarra, on charges of possessing a fraudulent U.S. permanent resident card. Just in part, some of what the Georgia governor has put in a letter to President Joe Biden. He also spoke earlier this morning on Fox and Friends. Here are some of his comments on this tragedy. Well, I just want to offer my condolences, thoughts, and prayers to Lakin's family. I talked to his parents, John and Allison, last night. As you can imagine, they are just struck with grief. They're heartbroken, and they're also, like I am, they're upset, and they're mad and, and outraged at this incident that happened. You know, I've made five trips to the border, like a lot of other Republican governors. We've raised the issue of, of the problems with an unsecure southern border for well over two years now, really at the start of the Biden administration because the change in policies uh, that have led us to where we are, where we now have, you know, millions of people, seven and a half, eight and a half, however many million people that have come into our country. And then you have people like these two individuals that came into the country and then c committed crimes. I mean, this is a federal issue. This is an issue that the president can take action on. And I know he's trying to blame, you know, inaction in Congress. That is passing the buck. We know that there's things that he can do. The, the Republican governors that were at the border just weeks ago stand ready to help him do that. We stand ready to send National Guard resources and let's secure our border and make sure this doesn't happen again. Georgia Governor Brian Kemp there speaking on the murder of 22-year-old nursing student Lakin Riley, and especially as more of this reaction continues to pour in. And of course, we're going to continue to stay on top of this story as well, especially as we look into this week, of course, learning in that last report that a vigil will be held tomorrow there in Athens, Georgia. We're going to, of course, try to bring you whatever live coverage we can of that should cameras be allowed. We're going to take another commercial break here. We still have much more in store. When we come back, we'll be bringing you more on the border crisis as our team at Fox 5 in D.C. takes a closer look.